It is one of the greatest fears for men. I'm talking worse than snakes, worse than shark attacks, clowns, worse than the IRS. Baldness. Going bald, losing this precious head of hair, the northern ice caps melting, whatever you want to call it. What's up, TRT community? Oh man, let's help each other. All right. I think we're good here. Well, as you guys can tell, as you guys have probably even maybe noticed, uh, if you've been a part of this channel for a long time, my hair, you know, it ain't growing back, all right? But is TRT the culprit for why I'm losing it? That's what I wanted to figure out. That's what you probably clicked on this to figure out. Is TRT going to make you lose your hair? That's what we want to figure out. I did a survey and 238 of you took advantage and voted on that. And this is what it said. I asked if you've been on TRT for at least a year, have you experienced any hair loss? Now look at this. Only 4% of you said yes, a lot. 20% of you said yes, a little. 11% said yes, but I don't think TRT is the reason. But look at the majority. The majority of people said, nope, not me. 66% of you who voted said, no, I haven't experienced any hair loss since being on TRT. So does that mean the subject is closed? I was already losing my hair before I started TRT. I think that I started losing my hair around the age of maybe like 35, 36, 37, somewhere around there. I am 42 years old now. So I've been losing my hair for over five years. Since being on TRT, have I noticed that it's been decreasing? This hairline, has it been going back quicker? Yes, it actually has. I've noticed more hair loss. But here's the thing, you know, I can't know the future and I can't know all contingencies of my life. Would I have lost it this fast, whether I was on TRT or not? See, that's the thing. I don't know. Maybe I would have lost it this fast anyway. Maybe it would... That just sounds weird. Maybe I would have been losing it this fast anyway. Maybe that was the more proper grammar. Any of you English teachers, comment below. Let me know. As you all know, I suffer from hypogonadism, the fancy word of saying low testosterone. I've been on TRT now for almost three years, guys. In November, it will be three years. Do you think you have low testosterone? Maybe you don't even know. Well, let me give a shout out to the sponsor of this video right now, and they are Let's Get Checked. They offer affordable, professional, at-home testosterone testing kits. It's very easy to do. Put in your information when you get the kit. You do the blood sample, send that off, and you then get the test results back on your phone. It's really easy. There's a link in the description below on how to get right to the testosterone testing kits on their site. They do not only have testosterone testing kits, however, all kinds of health testing kits. If you want to get a discount on any of those, use this code COEN20 and that'll get you 20% off anything on their site. Thanks. Let's get checked. So that's why I got on TRT in the first place. Is my TRT the culprit of all this going on up here, of all this not going on up here. You know that some of this just boils down to our genes uh, because there's an enzyme called 5-alpha reductase and there's also something called DHT, which stands for dihydrotestosterone. And how those work together, it's very sciencey. DHT gets into the uh, concentrated parts of our body. You know what, it's kind of, listen, the truth is, it's kind of confusing to me, okay? Science is not my strong suit. That's my sister, okay? She's the microbiologist. She actually really is a microbiologist. She got the brains. I got something else that's not science involved. <laughs> but I've got a friend who actually is a part of the TRT community. He's a subscriber and he was motivated, he said, by me to start his own YouTube channel. So you know what we say here on this channel? You say, let's help each other, right? Well, guess what? Alex from Fitness Science is going to help us, okay? Because he made a video all about this exact same topic very recently. He tried to help me with some of the science for this, because I, I reached out to him because he's super smart. And I said, hey, can you help me understand this? And he was like, yeah, here's, here's a bunch of information. And I was reading it and I was like, I'm not a smart man. So 
He has done a video as well about all the science behind this. I want you to check it out. It's right up there. And listen, I want you to help one of our own. Please, let's get him up to a thousand subscribers, okay? So go to Fitness Science, check out his video that he did about this topic. He'll explain the science behind hair loss a way better, but just a very quick answer is this. A lot of it boils down to your genes, okay? If you're going to lose your hair, you're just gonna lose your hair and you can't really fight that, can you? It's just going to happen. However, TRT does seem to speed the process up which not makes perfect sense to me now because I've been losing my hair a bit more quickly since I've been on TRT, it seems. Does TRT make you lose your hair? No, it doesn't make you. You're going to be losing your hair anyway based on your DNA, based on your genes. TRT does seem to speed it up. There are some things that can slow that process down. Alex talks about that as well on that video. So thankfully, most of us, according to that survey, aren't seeing any hair loss at all after being on TRT. So you should be very thankful that you can keep that big, you know, Brad Pitt, Tom Cruise head of hair. Congratulations for you. Go Grow it long. Just let it blow in the wind like Fabio, please, for the rest of us that can't do that. All right. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. God bless. Peace.